Hello, hello! Welcome to another tutorial video from Analytics Voyage. Today, I would like to guide you through a simple linear regression analysis using Excel to understand the relationship between years of experience and salary. This is a common scenario in HR and economics where we want to determine how years of experience might predict or influence salary. Are you ready? Okay, let's go! Let's begin by organizing our data. First, ensure that you have a data set with two columns, specifically since we are doing a simple linear regression. In this example, the first one is the years of experience, which we label it as X, and the second one is salary, which we label it as Y. Make sure your data is labeled appropriately. Once your data is ready, we'll create a scatter plot to visualize the relationship. In the Insert tab, in Chart section, select Scatter, and then select the basic scatter plot. Now right click on the chart and find the Select Data option. Click on Add. In this section, you can define the information for your chart. In the first row, you can add the chart title. Try to use a descriptive title. For example, I'm using scatter plot of salary versus years of experience. Now we need to select the X values, which will be the years of experience and then the Y values, which will be the salary. Then click OK. Finally, press OK to generate the scatter plot of all your data. Now I just make it a little bit larger to be more clear. OK, we're not done yet. What's missing? Can you guess? Yes, that's right. Access titles and units are missing. To ensure it is easy for everyone to understand your data visualization, you always need to make sure access titles and units are added to your chart. To do this, make sure the chart is selected first, then go to the chart design section and find add chart elements and choose access titles. Select primary horizontal and then primary vertical. You can see both have been added to your chart. We can revise them by double clicking on each and modifying them. You can add years of experience to your X axis. And salary to your Y axis. Make sure you add the units as well. Now let's take a moment to interpret the results. Look for pattern or trends in the data points to understand the relationship between years of experience and salary. As you can see, with an increase in years of experience, salary will increase too. We can imagine a line like this that shows us this trend. Now let's perform a linear regression analysis. Again, go back to the Add Chart Elements. This time, select Trend Line and then More Trend Line Options. Now, on the right side of the screen, you can select the Linear option. And then on the bottom part of the list, you can check the display equation on the chart and display R square value on the chart. You'll see a regression line along with it on the chart. OK, now let's see what they mean. Here you can see the equation for simple linear regression. Y is equal to A plus B multiplied by X. Y is your dependent variable, which is salary in this example. 
Your dependent variable depends on your x value, which is your independent variable. Years of experience in this example. A is the intersect and B is the slope, indicating how much salary changes with each additional years of experience. The R squared value indicates how well your linear regression model fits the data. In other words, how accurate this equation is. Its value is always between 0 and 1. Additionally, a higher R square value suggests a stronger relationship between your dependent and independent variable, which is years of experience and salary in this example. Remember that R square is only applicable to simple linear regression model. Now let's go back to the Excel and do the simple linear regression analysis in a different way. First, let me move this chart to the side. Okay, now let's go to the data tab on the top ribbon. In the analysis section, select data analysis. If you don't see the data analysis in your Excel file, make sure you watch our previous tutorial video on descriptive statistics, in which we discussed how you can add this powerful tool pack to your Excel. You can find the link to previous tutorial in the description of this tutorial video. Okay, click on the data analysis and then select regression and click OK. In the regression box, select all the values for salary in the input Y range, including the label. For the input X range, select all the values for years of experience with label as well. I personally prefer and recommend selecting the label as we will see how results will be more organized at the end. Since we included label in the input data range, make sure we check the label option. Now choose your preferred output option. I want to have the results in the same sheet, so I will go and select a cell for my output. Optionally, you can select the residual checkbox to get the difference between the predicted and actual values. It can be helpful sometimes. Now click OK, and there you go. The regression analysis output is created by Excel. Now let's interpret regression analysis output. Running regression in Excel is easy, but interpretation of the results is a bit tricky as you need to know what is behind each number. Let's start with the first table, which is called regression statistics. The first parameter is called multiple R or the correlation coefficient. It measures the strength of a linear relationship between two variables. The correlation coefficient can be any value between minus 1 and 1, and its absolute value indicates the relationship's strength. The larger the absolute value, the stronger the relationship. 1 means a strong positive relationship. Minus 1 means a strong negative relationship. Zero means no linear relationship at all. The next one is called R squared. As I mentioned before, it is used as an indicator of the goodness of fit. It shows how many points fall on the regression line. The R squared value is the sum of the squared deviations of the original data from the mean. In our example, R square is 0.95, which is pretty good. It means that 95% of our values fit the regression analysis model. In other words, 95% of dependent variables, which is salary, are explained by the independent variables, which is years of experience. 
The third one is called adjusted R square. It is the R square adjusted for the number of independent variables in the model. You will want to use this value instead of R square for multiple regression analysis. We will discuss this further in the multiple linear regression analysis tutorial video. Then we have the standard error. It is another goodness of fit measure that shows the precision of your regression analysis. The smaller the number, the more certain you can be about your regression equation. While R square represents the percentage of the dependent variables variance that is explained by the model, standard error is an absolute measure that shows the average distance that the data points fall from the regression line. It is mostly useful when you want to compare two different models. And lastly in this table, we have observations, which is simply the number of data points used to develop the model. The second table of the output is the analysis of variance or ANOVA table. The ANOVA part is rarely used for simple linear regression analysis in Excel, but you should definitely have a close look at the last component. The significance F value gives an idea of how reliable, statistically significant your results are. If significance F is less than 5%, your model is okay. If it is greater than 0.05, you'd probably better choose another independent variable. Lastly, the coefficients table shows the specific information about the components of your analysis. The most useful component in this section is coefficients. It enables you to build a linear regression equation in Excel. For our data set, we can see that our intercept is 24,848.20 and the slope or the coefficients of years of experience is 9449.96. As you can see, the results are the same as the first method. However, we got more information in this method. We also created the residual output table. If you compare the estimated and actual salaries corresponding to the year of experience of 1.2 years, you will see that these numbers are slightly different. For example, the estimated value is 36,188, which was just calculated. And then the actual value is 39,344, which is the row two of the source data. Why there's a difference? Correct, that's because independent variables are never perfect predictors of the dependent variables. And the residuals can help you understand how far away the actual values are from the predicted values. Congratulations! You have successfully learned how to do simple linear regression analysis in Excel. In summary, simple linear regression is a powerful tool for analyzing the relationship between any dependent and independent variables. It can help you make data-driven decisions in various fields. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more data analysis tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.